Geek Seekers, I'm Nick. We wanted to take a look at some ultra budget PC part options coming into the end of the year because our Discord community asked us to do it and we thought it would be a good idea because they've been asking us to do this for like a long, long time. This week, we're going to take a look at some AMD parts and next week, we're going to take a look at some Intel parts. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload basically every single day of the week, so do yourself a big old favor and make sure that you are subscribed. We're gonna check out the ASUS Prime A320MK Micro ATX motherboard. Before we get a stack of comments asking about what CPUs are compatible with this board, this board is compatible with all Ryzen and all AM4 CPUs, regardless of the generation. Even though the ASUS Prime A320MK might support all current AM4 and Ryzen CPUs, you might not want to do that with this board. You're going to see why. Let's check it out. I'm going to say this once again, and once again only, it is compatible with all Ryzen CPUs. Please don't spam the comment section and ask what it works with. Yes, it'll work with your AM4 CPU. Alright, that's out of the way, let's check out the board. Right, what do we got here? We have the rear IO shield, so you can see the things on the back of your system. Look at it, it's nice and silver and shiny. Yes it is. Alright, what do we got next in the box? Alright, we've got an M.2 screw to screw in M.2s because this board actually has one M.2 slot. I'm just shaking it about just to make this board a little bit more interesting. Uh, what else have we got here? We have the quick start guide, I think. I'm not sure. It's a piece of paper. We've got the specification updates for AMD processors. Look, I'm, I'm going to hold this up for a little bit so you guys can have a look at this. Please read this carefully. This will tell you all of the things it's compatible with. You can even freeze frame this right now. However, it is compatible with the newest gen Ryzen CPUs as well. That It doesn't say on the paper. All right, let, let's shake this. Uh, uh, ooh, ooh, it's like money. No, it's a DVD thingamajig. I don't know why they still have these in motherboard boxes, I'm going to be honest. All right, what else we got in here? We've got the uh, user guide for using the motherboard. Pretty straightforward stuff here, people. Something that we have covered to death. Oh, look at this, a secret compartment. Oh, it's got SATA cables in it, that's right. A motherboard that has SATA cables. <laughs> surprise, surprise. All right, let's get the board out of this plastic sleeve. It feels like a plastic sleeve you put paper in because it's a budget board, so not everything is as nice as the other boards. All right, let's take a closer look at what we get on this board. You got your front panel audio connector and a serial port connector, some other kind of connector, I can't remember what it was, two USB 2.0 connectors, a USB 3.0 connector, and a front panel connector, as well as four, that's I'm counting that, one, two, three, four, SATA connectors. Next up is the 24 pin power connector, standard on every motherboard, a CPU fan header right here that is also PWM, there's no VRM cooling which is why I recommend using lower powered CPUs and only a 4 pin CPU power connector. Right we have a PCIe 16 time slot and two one time slots. We have a standard AM4 socket with the standard cooler mounting brackets and yeah look check it out it opens up just like an AM4 socket. Alright what else have we got? We've got two DDR4 RAM slots that run in dual channel there's only two memory slots so don't ask if your memory will work because it will. Uh, also you've got your M.2 slot this is a SATA M.2 that I'm showing here but it is also compatible with NVMe M.2s. There's an additional PWM fan connector. There's only one other one on the board, and this is it. You've got two PS2 ports for your old school mice and keyboards, a VGA port for that old school monitor goodness, as well as HDMI, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, gigabit ethernet and USB 3.0, and also audio, and that about wraps it up.
This board is the cheapest AM4 board we could find, like at the time that any stores had in stock. That's right, we actually went out and bought this one. It's not supposed to be the best board on the market. It's designed to be used with APUs like the Ryzen 3 2200G or the 2400G for business style computers and ultra budget gaming systems with dedicated GPUs like let's say a 1050 Ti or an RX 560. I'm not saying it's a bad product, I'm just saying that it's something that we typically wouldn't use here unless you guys wanted to see us do something ultra budget and really cheap and that's what we're gonna do with this board. If you're interested in grabbing one of these boards, there's a link in the description. Like I mentioned, they're going for around 60 US dollars. Actually, I don't think I mentioned that, but yeah, they're going for around 60 US dollars on Amazon right now. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek, and yeah, I, I really want to start doing more of this ultra budget stuff because you guys have been asking us a whole lot to do it, and I finally bit the bullet and decided to listen to you guys. I do listen.